thought I would come out into the hills and check out these views which I've missed so much look at that absolutely incredible and then if I just spin around this way one of the most well-known landmarks in Timor-Leste this is the Crystal Ray statue got plenty of videos of me walking up to the statue a very popular spot for exercising but yeah this is one of my favorite spots right here so climbing up to one of the tall peaks here looking out over Crystal Ray and then this beach down behind me here it's known as Back Beach as it sits just behind the Crystal Ray statue beautiful beach and uh, accessible either by the steps on foot you take a long route around over Horta Hill and then around let me spin around around this point here and you can cycle or drive around that way but uh, yeah cracking spot but uh, we're just going to climb up here and check out what the view's like so just behind me here let me just refocus that this is the uh, leftover from the landslide that happened during Easter. Huge landslide here, which goes down all the way down to the steps that lead up to Crystal Ray. So uh, yeah, it was shut off for a little while, a few weeks, I think, at least. Yeah, you can see the trees there, which have just hung on. So I'm not really going to hang around too long. Let's get across. Here we go, landslide number two, just on the same slope. Look at that up there, there's a tower, I'm assuming, communications tower. So just up here, this is the peak I was on earlier on, but I just skirted around rather than going up and over, which I'm pretty sure you can do, but I thought I didn't need to risk that on my first outing for a while. And look at that. So we've pretty much been in lockdown here in Dili Timor-Leste for the past couple of months. It's been a long rough hard slog at times just uh, not knowing you know what the, the future holds but um yeah feels good to get out and this is what i've missed just getting out into nature fresh air checking out views like this and look at this peak behind me look at the size of that it's amazing but uh yeah so definitely more more experiences like this going forward and like i say touch wood the lockdown remains gone for now and uh, the numbers stay somewhat low as the vaccine rolls out but uh, if these past couple of years have uh, told us anything then it's you really can't predict you know what's gonna happen so I'm gonna make the most of this opportunity get out enjoy the landscape meeting people again socializing and uh, yeah, just having experiences again, you know. So moving into dry season here. Well, definitely dry season now, although we're still getting a little bit of rain. But you can see the grass is browning off. Less and less green. More and more gold. Getting a peak of uh, Crystal Ray behind me. Like I say, super popular spot. Once you get to about five o'clock in the evening, that place will be packed oh, with people uh, walking up to the top and back. There's quite a unique thing that I've seen here as well is that a lot of people, excuse me, just getting my breath back. Quite a unique habit here as well for a lot of people that are exercising where full length trousers and then raincoats with the hoods up and the mask and pretty much you can't see any skin and I was talking to a team or his friend of mine who was explaining that it's uh, so that you sweat you sweat more which you certainly would in this climate 
wearing top to tail, yeah, long trousers and a, a raincoat with the hood up and uh, you lose more weight. So uh, yeah, I'm not sure that I'll personally be taking up that, that habit, but uh, you see heaps and heaps of people doing it, which is fair play, you know, it's uh, no easy feat in this heat. Good rhyme there as well. So whilst taking a little break here, I thought I'd just talk about the island that I'm looking out on at the moment, which is Aturo Island. So haven't actually been back there since being back this year is a bit of an unusual time, obviously, with uh, getting back into country, COVID free, and then COVID starting up and lockdown starting. So obviously travel was prohibited and uh, yeah, plans had to change, but uh, definitely hoping now with the lockdown lifted to get back over to the island. A beautiful spot and beautiful accommodation that you can stay on right by the beach. Lots of snorkeling right off the beach and uh, diving as well. Very relaxed place, so uh, if you're coming to Timor-Leste or you live in Timor-Leste and you haven't been over to the island, Aturo Island, definitely recommend booking a trip. Enjoy a bit of ocean time, a bit of snorkeling. And my partner dives, so she'll be keen as to get over there as well. Definitely haven't been seeing too many of those of late. So you remember that huge peak that we saw down there? Well this is the ridge line going up to the peak. So it didn't actually take that long. It was only maybe 20 minutes to this point. Obviously stopped for five minutes to get some water and take some photos and stuff. But yeah. What a great spot. Lots of birds as well, which is nice to see. Don't hear too many of those in the city. You can hear the ocean still, hear the waves. Doesn't get much better than that, does it? Whew. There we go, there's the comms tower, I'm guessing. It's a comms tower. Wow. Look at this. So here's the comms tower right up next to it. Crystal Ray is down here. Aturo Island that I was talking about. Here's Back Beach. Look at that. Just in the background here you can see Meteor. And then we keep going around. Here's Dili, here's the city. Look at that. Now I don't know if you can see, but just down there, there's a couple of people snorkeling. One of those is Ash. She's out with her friend snorkeling. So <laughs> she'll be loving it down there. Look how amazing that looks. There we go, up above Crystal Ray statue. It's not very often you get to see it from this sort of angle. But uh, yeah, the views. Absolutely insane, amazing. Look at that. I don't know if you're getting ex as excited, but uh, it feels so good to be out. Always a sign that you've enjoyed the walk when you run out of space on your memory card. So just put a fresh one in. And uh, yeah, continuing on. Almost back at the Crystal Ray statue. The whole walk's probably only taken 45 minutes realistically if you add in the stops there's probably another 45 minutes so uh yeah an hour and a half all up so any walk is a good walk at this point and this is certainly yeah those views up there certainly a, a goodie which i'll be doing a lot more often
reckon you can't really see me properly there. Oh, so bright. There we go. So I'm gonna now head back down. I'd like to get a shot of that boat as well. She's looking amazing with the, the reef and the water looking incredible. So yeah, if I could get a drone shot above there and get a, a bird's eye view. Yeah. So we're gonna head down. Slowly but surely. <sighs> Got chatting to someone who wants to go to the UK or Australia and work. Looking for some advice and looking to practice their English. And then suddenly now it's like half past five. So yeah, figured just enjoy being out. Like I say, meeting people, enjoy a bit of ocean time and head on back. So now I'm going to climb back over the steps of Crystal Ray, hop on the bicycle and uh, head on back. If you enjoyed the video, I certainly did. It was great to get out, hit the like button. If you haven't already hit subscribe and hopefully there'll be lots more of these outside adventures coming soon.